Hey YouTube, this is uh, Sasquatch Piper. Just back here in the woods, getting ready to do a video and uh, smoking on my uh, Devil Ants cob, my uh, Cuddy, the Little Devil, or whatever you want to call it, um, from Missouri Meerschaum. Really nice little cob, and in it is some uh, haunted bookshop. Of course, right? Uh, this video is a VR for a cane rod piper. Hope I'm saying that right, buddy. You're one of my favorites to watch. And I and the other night he had a, a, a great um, testimonial kind of uh, video. It was really nice, and uh, thought I'd I'd uh, give a little bit of a testimony myself. And uh, if you haven't seen uh, uh, Bayou Guru, he had a good one too. That was a nice testimony. But uh, I am 48 years old, and uh, it's been a, a crazy journey for me, I tell you that right now. Uh, growing up, my, uh, my, both my parents were, um, somewhat religious. We went off and on, you know, we'd go through a period of time where we would go almost every Sunday and then they'd, they'd, um, back off a little bit and then we'd be back at it. Uh, grew up around, um, two different types of uh, upbringing. Okay, it's only how I can describe it. One um, was the religious uh, side, and then the other was uh, I don't know how to I don't know what you uh, how you would describe it, but um, if you forgive me, uh, you know I. I say some curse words, but it's the only way I can describe it. Uh, my dad was a hard man, and um, he grew up, you know, in the poor side of town. And the um, only way he knew was fight. And uh, he damn sure didn't turn the other cheek. And um, I remember being little, and you, you uh, better not run from anybody. You better you better stand there and fight, win, lose, or draw. And um, if you didn't, if you uh, ran, you still gonna fight, and then you're you're gonna get your ass whooped when you got home. That's just how it was. And um, drank drank like a fish. He was a hard worker though. He was a diesel mechanic. He was a uh, uh, jet mechanic in the Air Force, and then when he got out, he became a diesel mechanic and um, worked in the coal mines, working on heavy machinery, and he worked hard. And my mom, when uh, she was working, she worked as a waitress, and then later on in life, when she couldn't run around like she used to, she started cooking. But uh, both my parents worked hard. They both smoked, and uh, my dad taught me how to hunt, fish, and to cuss. <laughs> uh, he only went through the third grade. He had to drop out and help his grandma. He was living with his grandma at the time. Had to drop out and help make ends meet. Um, like I said, he had a hard life all his life, and. Um, when he was old enough, he went right into the Air Force. Uh, that's where he met my mama. Down in Amarillo, Texas. But, uh, back to my testimony a little bit. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background. Uh, when I got to be about a junior in high school, I, uh, started 
start feeling like I, I was getting a calling into the ministry. I, uh, I was going to church every Sunday. I was in the youth group, and um, I decided I wanted to go to St. Louis Christian College. There was a little bit of a problem there. Uh, that stuff cost money. And um, my grades weren't all that great either. But uh started praying. Prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. Well, my dad, by the time I was in high school, he'd already had um, two heart attacks and a major back surgery. And he was on disability. And um, he worked himself to death by uh, near. And there was a guy that came to our school looking to give a Pell Grant to um, students that their parents were on disability. And um, also students that um, uh, were going to go to... They were, uh, at the time, we were living in, in Indiana, and um, they were trying to get students to go to local colleges in, uh, in, in Indiana. Indiana. So you had to live in Indiana, and your parents had to be on disability. They were trying to help out. And uh, they called them down to the office. I fit though, of course. You know, our school's in, in was in uh, uh, North Posey at the time, Poseyville, Indiana. And um, my parents were on, my dad was on disability, and um, so I fit those qualities or those qualifications, but um, still wasn't a done deal. We did all the paperwork. I remember my dad coming up there and and uh, we filled out all the forms and sent them off. And I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And uh, sure enough, uh, there was a, a little glitch. The college that I wanted to go to was in Missouri. And uh, so that guy, I uh, can't think of his name, he... Uh, said he's going to work on it. So I went home and I prayed some more. And um, come to find out, the only denomination that was, um, uh, that we, uh, our denomination uh, didn't have a college in Indiana. Uh, so somehow, in my opinion, the power of prayer, they were able to get a huger grant over to uh, Missouri. Uh, I, I kid you not. And uh, I was able to go. All of it paid. Every bit of it. Uh, only thing I... My housing was uh, paid for and my... Uh, uh, my books, everything was paid for. Only thing that wasn't was eating on the weekends, like on the weekends. And I was out of state, so I'd have to stay on campus. Well, when I got down there, I got a job in the cafeteria. And uh, 18 years old and living in St. Louis, Missouri. I wish I'd smoked a pipe back then, but I didn't. Went over to uh, Washington, Missouri and picked me up some cobs. But, um, uh, went to two years. Being foolish, I uh, dove right into a, a marriage that I shouldn't have, uh, uh, again, I wasn't waiting on God. Dove right into the marriage, last two years. Started working in group homes, working with uh, mentally retarded adults, and I enjoyed it. Loved it. Then after my divorce, 
things kind of changed. My, uh, not necessarily my belief. I always had a strong, uh, strong, strong faith. But I was, I was, um, kind of lost a little bit. Lost to say the least. Tore me up. And, uh, went down to Wichita Falls, Texas. Got even worse. Ended up in a homeless shelter down there. Got a job. Got my butt back to Evansville, Indiana. And, uh, that's when I found my wife now. And, off and on, off and on, I'd go back to church. Uh, and when I say the the struggle was real, it's I, I mean that and not and as a joke. Went out on me, but uh, not as a joke. Unfortunately, the closest I've ever been actually being what I what I feel like I was called for is I was a, a youth director at a church here in town for about two or three years and I worked with the youth but um it's still a long long ways from what I what I felt like I was called to and all those prayers answered and don't think that I, there ain't a day go by that I man I I know I let God down uh, I know, you know, I believe in forgiveness and I know it forgives, but I still feel like that to this day. Uh, but, uh, it's not too late. I know it's not too late, but, um, I just wanted to share a little bit of my life, my testimony, um, lived a poor life my whole entire life and I am big big on prayer I know it works I know it does uh, sometimes we we want to control the, our life and not wait on God they say that um, God's timing's right on time but sometimes it's not fast enough for us and um we take things in our own hands. And that's what happened to me. Is I took things in my own hands. And it wasn't time yet. But, um, I just wanted to share with you. I, uh, thank you, King Rod Piper, for, um, for giving this, uh, this opportunity. And I hope, hope, um, hope we can get it going. I really, I really would love to, you know, I got a critter on me. Come back here, critter. You gotta go. He wants to be in a video. Look at him. I don't know what he is, but... Oh, there he goes. But, uh... I enjoyed... I enjoy it tremendously, and I need it. So, uh... Thank you again. You guys have a good night. And, uh, enjoy your pipes. I'm about ready to light this back up. Alright? You guys have a good one. Keep her smoking.